As you all know, I am currently working on a new film. This new film will actually be titled Dragon Hunter, and will feature the return of several characters from across my shared universe, and will actually mainly be teaming on the narratives of the Pizza Man cast, with the inclusion of also Howler the Wolf and Bags the Imp from Demon Hunter, a new character, well, semi-new character, I'm not going to tell you why he's semi-new, with Servo Breaker, and the proper introduction of Rex Jones's brother, Raptor. And I shall be showing you the concept designs I've created and the designs for them in this film. This film will also be leading into a brand new series titled Dragon Wars. And I'll tell you which character designs will carry over from this movie to Dragon Wars, which ones will be slightly modified, and which characters will be getting whole new designs for the actual show. Starting here with Rex. As you can see, Rex here has cut his hair a bit and has now put it into a ponytail or a bun, whatever you call it, and has a slightly different hairstyle. He now wears blue jeans and some tennis shoes. A black t-shirt and a blue hooded jacket. I should also note this film has a four-year time skip. We're now in the year 2078, and most of the characters in this show and my universe as a whole are now 25. <laughs> And this is a general time skip for the whole universe. All stories will now be taking place here, unless it's like a special story set, like to help further explore the past or whatever. But for the most part, now the stories, my universe is going to a full four year time skip. But yeah, this is Rex's new design, and moving on to Rogue. As you can see here, Rogue pretty much looks the same, except he no longer wears his visor or his battle mask, and even then, he didn't really wear it that much. Rogue has some additional weaponry, as you can see by the blade. He now has, he has multiple other weapons in his arsenal. Not all of them are on him, of course, he's got way too many for that, but he overall is the same. And now we're moving on to our, our Operation X returning character, character from Operation X, Tanya, who is the adopt, who is, was adopted by Rex's mother and is therefore the adopted younger sister of Rex, although they are the same age. He just Rex, if you exclude the years that Tanya would have actually technically been because Operation X had a whole time warp situation, she is younger than Rex. And then she's, of course, the adopted older sister of Raptor. We will see him later. We'll get to get a proper design reveal for him. I should note that Raptor here will be 24, which I'll get more details on for that when we get to him. But moving on to Tanya soon, we, got, we can see that Tanya does... Have a new cowgirl aesthetic with a bit of purple on her, or well, quite a bit of purple, as she's sort of embracing her vampire heritage, and can now fully control her vampire side. Anyways, moving on to Jake, who is, of course, originally the... Well, he was the protagonist of his own show, Dragon Ninja High, where he was the main protagonist, but then joined the main cast of Pizza Man roughly halfway through season two. And he shall continue to serve as a part of the cast here. And he is, of course, one of the previous members of the team. And now, after the four-year time skip, during that time skip, he has actually managed to harness the remaining elements of the power of the dragon he has, since Rex now has that, as you can see from his artwork. And he is now harnessed into a new power called the Power of the Lightning Snake. I forgot to mention this before, but Rex's design will be completely changed for Dragon Wars. Jake's here will be modified to look a little less wonky, and his helmet will be made blue. Moving on to Twerk. Our big minigun using John Goodman's sounding dumpster diving tradesman Twerk is back. His design will be slightly modified for Dragon Wars with more gear and armor on him, but... Within the time skip, he's gotten a bit more mature and has gone from... Essentially, is the same... Pretty much hasn't gone to that much change. He's pretty much the same goofball as he is before. It's just he's pretty much completely gone from that original greedy persona we first saw him in back in Season 2 of Pizza Man. And he's got way more weapons now. 
Anyways, moving from him, we of course got our Demon Hunter characters coming back, a few of them, with Howler and Bads. You can see after the time skip, these two pretty much look the exact same. Bads is the exact same. Howler is slightly different. He still has his demon form, as you can see. By the fact he has ran in this one, one of the shots, you can see he's just randomly transformed, scaring the crap out of Bads. And overall, they're pretty much been doing the same thing they've always done. Killing off some demons. Well, not too many demons now after the time skip, but they are still really good hunters. We have our semi-new character with Servo Breaker. I say semi-new for reasons that you will see explored in the actual film. But his body was built by Jacob, the main protagonist of Extreme Terrors. Oh no, it's Bones. <laughs> Out of my way, Bryce. It's my turn. <laughs> As you can see, Jacob over here has built himself a new robot with full intelligence and free will known as Servo Breaker. He has all sorts of fun details, and what is this? It seems he has a rounded crescent bit, which, when you're looking at it from a certain angle, almost looks like a pizza crust. How weird! <laughs> Getting the skeleton out of the way. Next up is our fully brand new character, Raptor, who has been mentioned before, but is the younger brother of Rex and Tanya. You can see here, he hasn't really changed that much, really. Well, well, can't really have much change when you haven't seen him before, but he's got green hair due to weird, due to some weird genetic stuff. He's got goggles. He apparently he likes to explore the jungle. Has his own pet Velociraptor somehow, and also has his own hover cycle. His relationship with his older brother is a bit strained ever since Pete's ever, ever since Rex started his career as Pizza Man, especially at the beginning of the series. At the beginning of Pizza Man, Rex had already been operating for two years, and after season one, he really didn't really talk to his family that much, which pretty much put a strain on the relationship. And now, after the time skip, Rex, of course, no longer calls himself Pizza Man, but him and his brother don't really get along. And this film will be about the story of these two brothers and the dark secret of their family. What will that be? Well, gotta wait till tomorrow when the movie begins. Oh yeah!